Thank you to Warner Brothers for sponsoring this video. Hey, it's Jackie and welcome back to my channel for another vlog. I'm back in Tennessee. This time I'm in Memphis because I was invited here by Warner Brothers for the home release of Elvis. The next couple of days are gonna be really fun. I'm staying at the guest house in Graceland. I'll give you guys a tour. The view. Just getting ready to meet everybody in the lobby and I'm wearing this dress. It kind of reminded me of one of the Priscilla 70s looks from the film. Let's head out. I'm currently in Priscilla Presley's salon, except it's been transformed into a restaurant. So we're eating some amazing food. Yeah, I'm from LA. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. And we got some swag. I love this one. I'm gonna wear this one to bed tonight. I went with a 50s look that I can change over into a 60s look today. And we're starting off at a tour of Sun Studios. at Sun Studios, also known as the birthplace of rock and roll. Y'all give it up for an 18-year-old Elvis Presley. We stood where Elvis stood and there was a bunch of equipment from the 50s. From the original studio. Huh? There we go. That's <laughs> you gotta say huh though. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> You gonna get it? <laughs> we have stopped at the arcade restaurant. It is very 50s and they do have a fried peanut butter banana sandwich. So I'm very excited to try that. Magnets. Show them. I already did. I can just uh, overlay. <laughs> open. Gold seat belt, special seat, 24 karat. Exiting the submarine. Here's the quick makeup. Hey guys, 
it's Jackie, and we're here at Graceland. I'm gonna give you an exclusive tour. You're not normally allowed to film, but I got the hookup because we're celebrating the new home movie release of Elvis, which you can own digitally now, and it will be on streaming services very soon. Let's start the tour at the front entrance. This is the Colonial Revival style home, and it is the second most visited private residence in the country, just behind the White House and the upstairs area has always been off limits to tours and it's said to look as though he just got up and left. For example, the record player still has the last record that he listened to. My favorite room is the living room. In the 50s, this room had blue walls, but in the 60s, he flipped the color scheme to be white with pops of blue. The beautiful peacock stained glass was added in 1974 and how the light hits this room is just gorgeous. Elvis loved redecorating, which I find really cool, and the film was not shot here. It was built on a private property in Australia to reconstruct the exterior, and then the interiors were built on sound stages. I really thought watching the movie that they used Graceland to film until I looked into it. They did an amazing job. And right after the kitchen is the famous jungle room where Elvis liked to hang out. In the mid-60s, Elvis added this jungle room. There's green shag carpet on the floor and ceilings, wood furniture, and a tiki bar and it would become his final recording studio. Let's head downstairs. This mirrored staircase is epic. I had a lot of fun taking photos on here. The most unique room I've ever seen with more than 300 yards of fabric on the ceilings, walls. The couches have a similar fabric that kind of blend into the walls as well. And this lantern is from Tiffany. This room is so memorable to me, and another crazy story is that Elvis had a pet chimpanzee called Scatter. The monkey was a pain to everybody, but Elvis enjoyed having a chimpanzee. And Elvis originally wanted to turn Graceland into a zoo, so that was part of his goal. Speaking of monkeys, we head over to the TV and lounge room where you can see a monkey figurine, and there was always three TVs going at one time. Check out the bright yellow and navy color scheme throughout the room. Everything has a really unique design and we're headed back upstairs and this is Elvis Presley's mom's room. You can see a poodle wallpaper and his mom actually designed that. The house and farm spanning across 1.3 acres cost a 22 year old Elvis $102,500 in 1957, which is more like over 1 million today, but of course it's worth a lot more than that now. And then we're headed to Presley Motors to check out all of the cars. I'm not a big car person, like I literally don't know anything about cars, but if I had this pink Cadillac, I would finally get my license. Check out Greaser Boy Joey here, I can't get over how much he looks like Elvis. We also visited the iconic jumpsuits. Be sure to check out my TikTok and Instagram to see my shortened version of this tour that I made. I'd love your support over on there with a like and a comment. This was one of the coolest experiences I've had and I loved creating this type of content. Back from the tours, I'm repping my merch. Tell you got yours on? Oh, oh my god. I'm a hound dog. Yeah, we're exhausted. We're headed to dinner now. Oh look, you're taller than me again. Time for a drink. Having our final dinner at the hotel, I got chicken and waffles. It was amazing. It was the first time I had chicken and waffles. And huge thank you to Warner Brothers for this incredible experience. Let me know what you thought of the Elvis movie down below, or go see it if you haven't watched it yet, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just a man and his cat. <laughs>